Hello everybody and welcome back to Noia Dev, the series that aims to prove that one developer can create a successful MMORPG. If that sounds interesting to you, then you should subscribe. My name is Dane and this week on Noia Dev, we're going to go over some fancy camera tricks, the new starting area progression, and skill effects. Let's get into this. Things have been progressing pretty smoothly so far. I wanted to show a couple of the things that I've been working on uh, over the last couple of weeks. So to start off, we have the starting map here. This is still just the rough outline of it, although there are a couple of places that have been uh, more fleshed out now and I wanted to kind of give a little tour of those. This area here is where the player is essentially going to wake up after the starting cutscene. And here, if the player clicks on this door here, they are teleported inside the, the tomb and they will see this here. Uh, and they'll make their way through this uh, swampy area here and get an idea for how combat works and mob aggro works and things like that. Um, hopefully get their um, their bearings on how the UI and other things work there as well. Past that is a little encampment where there will be some NPCs with um, some other quests that will hopefully teach the player more things about how the game works as a whole. And then this area I am calling the beach will be more fleshed out with different quests and whatnot to give the player a more firm understanding of different game mechanics. Uh, there will be an optional first uh, dungeon down in the underworld. Um, again, optional. It will be group content oriented, so you're going to want to bring a full party. To that so I don't have anything to show on that one yet I wanted to touch on something that I briefly mentioned in the omnibus episode it wasn't really expanded upon exactly what I was trying to show so let me go ahead and show you that here look at the player uh, you'll notice that there's this red outline uh, this box around the player uh, that indicates the player's viewing area. So if I zoom way down, you see that the red square gets a lot smaller. If I zoom way out, it gets bigger. So this represents the what the player can see. Now if we go over to this little cave here, you'll see that there's these four walls that I have set up. And if that red box touches any one of these four walls, it will not allow the camera's viewable area past it and if it touches two walls on the opposite sides of each other it will shrink the viewable area down until it is no longer touching two walls so let me kind of show you what that looks like so right now i'm zoomed way out here and when i go into this cave it's zoomed way down and you'll notice that i can't get the camera to leave those walls so you see the viewable area stops right when it hits one of those walls and it's not touching more than two on either side of it and if I try and force it to zoom out it will force it back down now right now if you scroll wheel really really fast you can get out of bounds uh, that will be fixed later so this is just how I plan to make it so the camera can't see out of bounds. So I had touched on uh, stats and gear progression in a previous video and I showed these cool graphs and how I would be able to use that to map out uh, gear progression in Noia and this is the next iteration of that essentially. Um, basically what I did is I took every single level and applied a multiplier to it and then um, up here determined what I felt that each piece of equipment's uh, total percentage of each stat it should contribute. Um, so for instance, the chest piece should cons contribute 10% of the primary stat. 
and the head should contribute 5% and the weapon 2.5 and you know, all these different pieces of gear and you'll notice that some of these uh, are blank and that's because well like earrings and necklaces don't exist before level uh, 20 at least that's the the plan um, you'll see a similar chart here for the secondary stat and then the last one for uh, weapon attack uh, the weapon and offhand and charm are going to be the only things in Noya that offer uh, weapon attack and then this chart shows essentially uh, the final damage of all of those stats added up across levels 1 through 50 if we scroll down here you'll see the chart of the primary secondary and weapon attack stats according to the gear progression I've messed around with these uh, stat multipliers over the last couple of days until I got some graphs that I feel happy with um, I'm going to make this public. It is on the. It is currently pinned in the Noya Discord server under the suggestions and feedback channel. So if you want to go and make a copy of it yourself, uh, you are free to do so and play around with it yourself. I figure uh, at some point someone is just going to data mine this out of the game anyway so why not just give it to you guys now uh, you also notice down here at the bottom are the different uh, weapons um, currently it is more detailed kind of notes of what uh, I think each skill for each weapon should be and the percentage of that final damage type so for instance the first skill of the sword is going to do 150% damage so if we go and we look at level one it's gonna do or let's say at you know level six here 100% damage would do 20 damage so that, that skill do 150% damage so you should be hitting for 30 damage on a monster that has zero defense that is your same level and then just going down the the list here you'll see um, different skills for the sword class whether it's a taunt whether it's an AoE whether it's a buff and this just helps me better plan out for the skills in Noya and you'll see that I've also marked a couple of these having their animations and effects already complete. So if you're wondering how your favorite weapon type is going to play out, you can come to this spreadsheet um, and look for it and get an idea of how the gameplay will work for that weapon type. So before I say goodbye, I got a couple of uh, new skill animations and effects to show off. And uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching. What's to understand about Swish Wish Stab? It's a sword, dude. It's not a fighter jet. Pow! Right in the kitchen! Pow! Right in the kitchen! I said, oh Lord Jesus, it's a fire. Ain't nobody got time for that!